So, Catamage Keynotes and the Keynotes Palette. Now, the palette allows you to import a database. Now, most companies will have pre prepared a specification database, something they would either use regularly on every job or they'll make one per job. So, if we can import, there's one that we make that we provide with the program. It's in the Archicad folder, Archicad 18, and it's in CAD Image Tools Extras. So we've organized it into its basic categories, and it comes in, and all the notes just sit neatly organized inside yeah. them. Now, I see three major time benefits of the Keynotes tool in general. What normally would happen is I would select the label tool, set up what sort of text size I want and the RO type, the basic stuff, and then you have four clicks, which would be, if I go and put a column down, if I wanted to mark that column, I would go one, two, three, four. 90, and then click outside. That's the time involved in actually placing a normal note. The difference with keynotes is you double click a note and this information is already filled out, so all of the typing is taken away, which is most of the time, you know, say 60% of the time you're actually putting data. And you still place it the same method. The fourth click isn't necessary because the fourth click is generally the text box size so you can either draw your text box but most people put the third click on top of the fourth and then they can just type themselves so. one two three four and type so keynotes less clicks no typing now whenever you're placing keynotes when you double click any note from any category, so I'll go internal walls, it activates the label tool over here. Then the label will change to be a keynote label as opposed to standard text. And the keynote knows it, this data. So this data is filled in to that label. Mm -hmm. So now when you place it, you get that. Now if you go into the label settings, settings is always this button here, or the short key is Control T. And there will be this CAD image keynote label settings. Out of the box it only shows the key. If you wanted to see more information you just tick what you want. Now to give you an idea of what it looks like. So down here in keynote editing, that's the individual key. We call this the title. It used to be called the short description, so it's yeah. your basic one sentence, something you would see on a plan. And then below that is the description, or the full one. That's something you would never place on a plan, but on a spec sheet, basically. So depending on what you want to see, you just tick it. So if I also want to see 30101 internal walls, I'll turn on the title. You can see it update in the top corner. And now every single label I place from now on will show that. So, we'll choose. If I choose a different note, it remembers those settings, and we'll set it the same way, so everything will show that. So this is probably the most common way, key and title. The other settings in there are just basically how it looks. So this is just the font and the pen that the key uses, and the title. The key is bold, the title isn't. And then also the size of the spacing, how it's laid out, basics. Um, so place a notes, double click, place it. The other way of doing it is if you have something selected and you double click a note, it will automatically add a label to that note. So I'll do that and it always adds a straight label. So mm -hmm. it takes away the actual placement point as well. Now that label there is associative. If I go and do the same thing again to give you an idea of what that means. Let's delete these guys, get them out of the way. I'll place this note myself the exact same way. This one here placed itself, so it's linked with this column. So if I move the column, the note moves. This one here is just independent, sort of like a post-it stuck on mm -hmm. top. So if I move the column, 
it's not linked. So if you have something selected, places automatically and remains linked with it. All right. Now, there is, I'll quickly demonstrate it to you and you'll get an idea. You can link notes to properties. So for example, if you made a wall that contained jib board, you can associate a note to jib and when, if you select the wall, it will show you what notes should maybe be attached to the wall. We call those attribute keynotes. So you set it up in the CAD image keynotes menu. There they are, there attribute keynotes. Now in there, I'll go for building materials, things that the walls are made out of. And I'll associate the note to timber wall. We'll put 301 internal wall to that. You're just associating that note to that element. And then I'll associate a different note to gypsum pasta board. Insert. Now, that means if I draw a wall, this wall here, if we look at it, it's made up of 90 millimeters of timber and 10 millimeters of gypsum plaster board. Now, at the bottom of the keynotes palette, we have label contents and what that means is if I select this, it investigates what it's made out of and tells me any notes that should maybe be associated. So you're nearly taking away typing, placement, and even clicking on screen figuring out. So you just hit show and they both get added. They generally get added as a straight label. You can tweak it if you go and get one of those spots. So you move the spot, put it to where you want it. So independent associative attribute. Um, now, the beauty of this is you go to any view. So if I'm gonna pick a different note, let's go to this one here, and I'll place that note there. Now the beauty of it being a database is I can go to any view. We'll go to uh, elevation, and I'll place it in there, and then maybe we'll go and make a detail, and we'll put it in the detail. There we go. Now, the beauty of this is if I update the note in the database, the 30 times that I would place it throughout a project, I can fix that all in one. So to modify a note in the database, inside the palette you have keynote editing. So again, all your notes now will make it really blatantly obvious and I'll write update note there. And you'll see that instantly up here, that fixes itself. Now, nothing in the model will ever change automatically without you knowing. You always have to you know, commit to it or tell it to do it. So all of these labels, 601, will still say just Nuplex. So I'll have to go and interrogate my model and tell it where I want it to fix it. And the way you do that is in Academy's Keynotes menu and we have this thing called audit labels. So check them all out and see what's going on. So when you go into audit labels, it quickly checks all of this view. So all of those notes, which is just 301, 501, 302, and 601 are listed there. Now 601, it tells us that this has changed. So it's highlighting there for me. Now I can hit repair and that note will fix. What it's showing me right now is all the keynotes in the current drawing. If I want to see all the notes in the whole project, change I'll change it. this to entire project and you hit refresh for it to go and look. And it says this note has also changed in the elevation and the detail. So I can individually update the detail one or I can select the note as a whole and it will update all three. Repair and it will get fixed everywhere. So that's how we fix notes. That's probably one of the big time-saving benefits of Keynotes. Um, the other thing that you can do is instead of, let's say we want to change that to granite, instead of me re-labeling 60101 to granite, I actually just want to change it from 60101 to 60104 because I have another Keynote. So I want to swap them out. So I can swap out the label here. So we know refresh, we know replace. 
we know repair sorry replace is changing them out so i can hit replace and i'll replace it with 60104 and okay and they'll get changed in all the views so this is this this autopilot's very very good now it'll you can see all the notes you place in your project you can check your status you can swap them around if you're not sure where you place the note you can select it and um go zoom to and it'll take you to the correct view place it on show you where it is if you did actually want to see exactly where you placed every single label it will tell it will zoom straight to it and show you um okay so we'll close this guy so now we know how to place labels in all the different ways we know how to update labels and how to check it the third thing you might want to do is add new labels so let's say i had a wooden finish i want 60105 to be wooden floor you select the note that you want either the closest thing like you would duplicate it and modify or the next in line so i would select that and click new and it adds 60105 and everything will remain the same granite 100 by 100 black granite tiles so down here i'm going to change that to one floor description and i've just added in a note now the idea of this is that you wouldn't actually have to import a database because people will be slightly worried that they now have to invest several hours in building a database to use when that's not the case you can just instead of typing manually in a label here you type it in here and you build up your database as you go so by the end of the project you've got quite an extensive one and now yeah that note i can place anywhere okay now that's placement that's updating the next thing is documenting them so if i go to the ground floor plan layout now the basic principle of this just to teach you the basics of archicad this is the source of everything the project map but the main two that you want to deal with is this guy the little floor plan and the pages because this is what goes onto the page so this here is what's on this page and that is that so this gets put on it easiest way i can show you teach you there's how it's set out these views are on those pages so we work here we document it there Um, CAD image keynotes and audit labels everything you'll always find for keynotes inside CAD image keynotes so we first opened this palette which is that one there then we've opened this one now what we're going to do is create a schedule this option here because for if we take 501 let's go to that guy this just says 10 mil tube lining board but this the actual full description which is relatively short says it must be over framing 600 centers with C thrust or something but obviously this could be one or two paragraphs long we want to see that information on this page without having to put it on the drawing so we go to CAD image keynotes and create schedule and it says where do you want to create the schedule so you can either do it for this page or all pages so we'll do this page only at the minute the current layout and then say what notes do you want to schedule I can do my whole database, I can do all of the keys used throughout my project or just the keys that appear on this page. What most people do is only schedule the keys that appear on each page, which is the default option. Current layout only, only keynotes use this layout. If I click OK, up in the upper corner, builds that based on whatever it can find in that drawing. And that's how we do it. Um, now let's just change one thing quickly let's do 501 since i'm on it um and we'll change it to be i'll change two things so we can see it we'll put it at 450 centers and caps and we'll change it to 13 mil so if you change a note there's several things you're going to need to fix we're going to need to fix all the labels placed throughout my project and then once we fix that, we're going to want to fix all of the schedules. So first off, to fix 
these guys here. It's the same method, cat image keynotes audit labels. We can see it's changed, I select that and hit repair and that fixes. Now if I go to my layout, that updates but the schedule still shows the old information. So exactly the way you created it, below it is update. Update schedule, you can choose current page or all pages, click OK and that will fix. So fix the labels, fix the schedules. Now, the other way that can happen with this, if I go to an elevation, let's go to the south elevation, I'm going to place a ton of notes from services. Place that, I'm going to add all of those. Sweet. Now, what a lot of people do is they'll have a blank sheet, they'll have their sheet index, maybe a transmittal, and then they'll have a sheet like an A3 at the start of a full document set that has all the notes placed, like a reference sheet, and then they'll, instead of creating this guy here, they'll put one single sheet at the front that has all notes used throughout the project. So the way to do that is we'll call this sheet keynotes. And the thing is, I wanted to include all of those notes, and I also wanted to include all of the notes that are seen on these elevations. Just gonna update it quickly. I wanted to put all of those notes, so every note on every page organized into this. So we do it by the same method. We'll make it A3, just to make it a bit more real. We go to cat image keynotes and create schedule only this time instead of scheduling this page and only the notes appear in this page i'm going to do this page but all keynotes used in the project and what it then does is very quickly scan through all of these finds all the notes so these we see on the floor plan and the section and then these ones here were all in the elevation now obviously this page would be much bigger for most companies but that's the two workflows that people work with